Hey friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I want to show you a quick thing I just learned that I've been doing these uh, elevations uh, the long way around and I want to show you how you can quickly do it uh, like this. So, let's get started. Oh my goodness, my mind was blown this morning as I had this thought about my elevations. Typically, when I am doing a, a cabinetry elevation, I will do my wall elevation, take a wall elevation, and um, it looks fine because I'm dealing with just I want to see the wall. I want to see everything here. Uh, now, when I take an elevation of an island, I, a wall elevation, I see everything beyond the island too, and I haven't wanted that. So what I have been doing is taking a... Um, Cross a back clipped cross section, and the the issue with the cross section is that I want I don't need to see all of the whole thing. I don't need to see the above the ceiling. I don't need to see above the floor or below the floor. So what I've been doing in this case is drawing a polyline and giving it a solid fill, covering up everything in front or everything below the floor and then I go uh, back here I just crop the crop the layout box to the ceiling well I just figured out a much simpler easier way to do it with the wall elevations and maybe you've already seen this and you're thinking why are you so slow Tim Anyway, here's what I've been doing. Let's, uh, let me get this set up real quick. So here's the wall elevation that I would typically get by default. I see the island and the walls beyond. Uh, I don't want, in, in my drawings, I don't want to see the walls beyond because this island doesn't touch the walls. Um, I just want, and I just want to focus on the island itself. So I've got this case uh, where the island works, the island is seen. And I'm going to go to Tools, Active View, Edit Active View. And just clip, just click on the back clip after box. Now this tells you the length of the view that you drew or that, that the camera will see. Everything within that 100, 135 and 13 length from where you started. Click on the back clip and those walls are gone. Now all I have to do is send to layout and crop my left and right and we're all set. Fantastic. Let's save this and I'll show you, let's close this elevation. I'll show you another thing that I, I learned right after we I walk through this process so I'm going to set this up by doing my wall elevation tool I'm going to drag all the way through the island click and drag on the one end so I want to see this right end of the island so I'm dragging all the way through the island it pulls up the wall elevation with the wall behind the island Tools, Active View, Edit Active View, and just click on the Back Clip After option. You can manually set this if you wish. 
If I only want to see the first 48 inches of the island, I could do that. I wouldn't see the um, faucet, etc. But uh, we will leave view, oh, tools, active view, edit active view. And let's go 120 on the back clip after dimension. Now I see everything that I want to see in that island view. So the other trick that I just learned is if I want to look at the front of this island, I see this view to start off with. What if I wanted to see into this living room and through that invisible wall? I can change that again with tools, active view, edit active view, and ignore railings and invisible walls. So the railings and invisible walls that are creating a separate room for Chief Architect, we can ignore those. Now I'm working in X12. X13 has some cool new features coming out um, with wall elevations, and I can't wait to get my hands on that. But that ignore railings and wall elevations gives this option. This view here now, I can see through or beyond the invisible wall that uh, is defining the next room uh, beyond this view. So I can now see that window and uh, beam and, and uh, electrical fixtures, etc. that we want to see for this, uh, this view. Now, in this case, uh, I, for the island situation, I would still do my at active view, edit active view, and back clip after, so that's going to negate uh, seeing that living room window because after 112 inches, I'm not going to see that living room window anyway. So there you go. As you can see, the back clip after option kind of negates the uh, seeing the window through the living room through that invisible wall. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, I, I'll when I get X13, I'll show you the new tools in wall elevations and the fun we can have with that. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave comments. I enjoy the comments and have a wonderful week.